Hello and welcome to this video on how to create highlights in a scene using the HDRI editor. So as you can see, at the moment we've got a, an RTX 2080 graphics card set up in the scene that we've got from the model library and we've just got a basic HDRI set up at the moment. But for, to get started, I'm going to pull a black HDRI into the scene. As you can see here, and using this scene, I'm going to go to the settings and change the background to color so that we can see where the object is in the scene. And I'm going to go back to the HDR editor. And obviously everything's black at the moment purely because uh, we have no actual lighting in the scene. So I'm going to go and add some lights using the pins. So add pin. As you can see, the pin has been dropped in the middle of the HDRI and I'm just going to move it a little bit over to the right and add a bit more light on the front side of this uh, plate for us. Now if we wanted to add light to a specific area of this model, we could use the set highlight function, which is this crosshair over here. If we click the crosshair, you can see that this little message box pops up, which tells us that if you want to select an area, you have to press control and then the left mouse button. So I want to draw a little bit more attention to the fan. So I'm going to press control and I'm just going to select over here. And as you can see, we've got some lights appearing here now or some highlights rather. And as you can see down here, the new pin has been created in the HDRI here. And there are some new options that we can use to edit that pin so you could adjust the radius which will adjust the physical size of the light in the scene as you can see or we could adjust the brightness which as you can see adjust the power of the light so you would decide for yourself whether you want it to be a more subtle highlight or whether you want it to be like a standout area of the image the fall off controls the softness of the edge of the of the pin adding a sort of gradient to the pin and transform these tool, two tools here, azimuth and elevation, allow you to manually control and more specifically control the specific location of the pin. So obviously elevation moves the pin up and down and azimuth moves it side to side, as you can see. If you wanted to add a bit more color into the scene, you could using the highlights function, you could add a gradient pin. So as you can see, if we add a gradient pin, we get like a kind of purpley tinge to the light, as you can see here. And again, you're able to move the lights around as and where you please, as like any other pin. But if you wanted to add set highlight, you could use set highlight to add a gradient pin to a specific area of the image. So let's say maybe over the label or over the top of the GPU. So down here, as you can see, we have uh, options to control the color of the gradient. So you can click this box here to add a stop to this gradient bar. And if you change the stop brightness, it, it alters the brightness at this specific point of the gradient. And if you choose the angle, it changes the direction in which the gradient flows within the point of the pin. Or you could use the stop location controller, which allows you to alter the transition between the two different colors on the gradient. And once you're done, you just click done. Thank you for watching this video and uh, hope to see you next time.